At first glance, this looks like just another spinning contraption, a handmade gadget humming quietly in the corner of a workshop. But inside, something remarkable is happening. Water isn't sitting still, it's in motion, shifting positions as it spins rapidly. And that simple detail might change everything. This isn't a typical battery filled with chemicals or lithium. Instead, it stores energy through movement and mass, a device that spins water to help smooth out the flow of electricity powering your home. Why water? Why spin? And why now? Let's dive in. The Grid's Balancing Act Electricity feels instant. You flick a switch, and light floods the room. But behind that simplicity is an ongoing balancing act few people ever consider. The power grid is like a giant seesaw that must stay perfectly level every second. On one side, power generation. On the other, demand from homes, businesses, and industries. If either side tips too far, the system wobbles, or worse, crashes. For decades, big power stations, coal, gas, nuclear, kept this balance easily. They could increase or decrease output as needed. But the landscape is changing. Wind and solar now provide a growing share of energy. Clean and renewable, yes, but also unpredictable. The sun can vanish behind clouds. The wind can stop suddenly. This variability makes grid management harder. Sharp drops can trigger blackouts. Sudden spikes can damage infrastructure. What's needed is a buffer, something to absorb excess power when supply surges and release energy when demand spikes. That's where new energy storage systems come in. Rethinking the flywheel. One such solution is the flywheel battery. The idea is straightforward but powerful. Spin a heavy disk at high speed to store energy. When the grid needs it, let the disk slow down, converting that motion back into electricity. Flywheels react almost instantly. They don't depend on chemical reactions, so they degrade far less over time. For handling short, sharp fluctuations in the grid, they're nearly ideal. But there's a limitation. Flywheels operate within a fixed speed range, which means their energy release follows a set curve. They're great for quick bursts, but lack the flexibility to adjust output on demand. What if a flywheel didn't have to follow a rigid operating profile? What if it could shift its internal mass mid-spin to fine-tune speed and energy delivery? That flexibility could give grid operators a new level of control. This isn't just spinning anymore. It's adapting in real time. And water might hold the key. Physics of moving mass. Think of a figure skater spinning on ice. Arms extended, they rotate slowly. Pulling their arms in tight, they spin faster. Not because they push harder, but because of the conservation of angular momentum. When mass moves closer to the axis of rotation, spin speed increases. Move the mass outward, and it slows. Energy is conserved, but the distribution changes, allowing control over speed and torque. Now, imagine applying that principle to a flywheel. By shifting mass inward, it could deliver a quick, intense energy burst. Push the mass outward, and it could slow down for a gentler release. This prototype does exactly that. It uses water as the movable mass, channeled through internal tubes. By adjusting these tubes while spinning, the system can control its speed and output dynamically. It's no longer just a passive energy store. It becomes a responsive buffer, tuned to the grid's ever-changing needs. Building the water flywheel. Creating such a system meant starting from scratch. Off-the-shelf parts wouldn't cut it. At the core is a 20 millimeter steel axle chosen for its strength under extreme forces. It's supported by precision bearings inside a lightweight 3D printed housing, ideal for prototyping. Power comes from a high-torque brushless motor, like those in advanced drones. This motor charges the flywheel, spinning it up, and later switches roles to act as a generator, feeding energy back. To track speed, a small magnet and a Hall effect sensor provide accurate, frictionless RPM readings. The real innovation is the moving mass system. 
Five hollow tubes mounted on the central column hold water and are adjusted in and out by a geared motor. This allows precise control over mass distribution, even while spinning at high speeds. A simple interface, rotary dial for speed, buttons to shift the mass, and a display for RPM and power lets operators control the system. Challenges in the real world Building a concept is one thing, making it work in practice is another. Initial tests were run with empty tubes to minimize risk. Once water was added, balancing became critical. Even tiny differences in fill levels caused wobbling at high speeds. Careful calibration smoothed the spin. A bigger problem emerged with the spindle motor. It lacked the torque to shift water-filled tubes while the flywheel spun. Forces were far higher than anticipated. The fix? Adding an extra motor for more power, though space was tight. Stress points in the 3D printed parts were reinforced and sensors were recalibrated. Finally, the system was ready for full-speed, high-load trials. Testing the prototype The first test mimicked a traditional flywheel, spinning with the water mass fully extended. Once at full speed, the system switched to generator mode, releasing 246 joules over 13 seconds, a solid baseline. Then came the real test. As the flywheel entered generator mode, the water mass was pulled inward mid-spin. The RPM shot up and energy was released much faster, 231 joules in just 7 seconds. In that moment, theory became reality. This wasn't just a battery. It was a dynamic energy system capable of adapting on the fly. Why this matters This prototype won't power cities tomorrow, but it shows what's possible. Energy storage that's no longer static but responsive, able to adapt in real time to shifting grid demands. As renewables dominate more of our energy mix, flexibility is key. Instead of building massive chemical batteries or new plants, solutions like this offer a mechanical, scalable alternative for short-term balancing. Other systems, like variable transmissions, exist. But this design stands out for its simplicity and adaptability. It's not perfect, but it's a bold step toward rethinking how we store and deliver power. A spark of innovation. It all started with one question. What if a flywheel could move its mass while spinning? The journey led to unexpected discoveries, failed calculations, and a deeper understanding of control and energy flow. This small, unconventional experiment might not scale up but it might inspire something bigger. Could this odd spinning machine become part of the energy grid of the future? That's a question worth exploring.